my dear students i welcome you all to my educational channel the name of my educational channel is priyanka dotto here you can find video presentations on english language and literature of school level college level as well as of competitive examinations as you can see from the thumbnail today's topic the rather the topic of this video presentation is very short questions and their answers from an essay the name of the essay is of studies and the name of the essayist is francis bacon you can guess very well that of studies is a popular or rather a frequent occurring essay at the graduation level of several universities so without wasting any time let's move to the main topic of this video presentation one by one i shall read out the questions and discuss the answers of those questions of course these questions are supposed to be of two marks the first question as you can see is what are the functions of studies the answer to the questions may be written in this way the functions of studies are threefold these are providing delight acting as an ornament in conversation and increasing one's skill in managing things the second question which you can see on the screen is to whom does studies provide delight the answer to the question is studies provide delight to a person who is without any company studies also provide delight to one when that person is in his or her retired life the third question is to whom does studies act as an ornament the answer to the question is studies act as an ornament to one who uses studies in the course of giving speech or speaking with others actually an ornament helps to beautify one's appearance the fourth question is to whom does studies serve for ability the answer to the question is studies serve for ability to one who uses studies to make correct decisions and manage affairs actually ability means skill the fifth question is who are the expert men the answer to the question is the expert men are men with practical experiences of life they can analyze a particular topic bacon looks upon them as superior to learned men the sixth question is who are the learned men the answer to the question is the learned men are those who are full of bookish knowledge and they can give general ideas but fail to probe deep into any matter the seventh question is what rather how does bacon differentiate between expert men and learned men the answer to the question may be written in this way expert men are men of practical experience but learned men are men of bookish knowledge moreover expert men can tackle specific things but learned men can handle general things the eighth question is what is sloth the answer to the question is spending a lot of time in studies is sloth actually bacon wants a practical and pragmatic approach to studies from one and all the ninth question is what is affectation the answer to the question is using studies in speech 
excessively is affectation. Actually, Bacon wants a practical and pragmatic approach to studies from one and all. The tenth question is, what is the humor of a scholar? The answer to the question is, to make judgment entirely by bookish knowledge is the humor of a scholar. Actually, Bacon wants a practical and pragmatic approach to studies from one and all. The eleventh question is, how do studies, sorry, how does studies perfect nature? The answer to the question is, nature means inborn qualities and every human being has some of these qualities. These are molded by proper studies. Thus, studies perfect nature. The twelfth question is, how are studies perfected by experience? The answer to the question is, the molded natural qualities can never fit with real life. Only experience of life makes these natural talents useful to life. Thus, studies are perfected by experience. The thirteenth question is, what are natural abilities and what are they like? The answer of the first part of the question is, natural abilities are those qualities which a human being inherits since birth. The answer of the second part of the question is, they are like natural plants, that is, those plants that grow without anybody's taking care of them. The fourteenth question is, why does Bacon compare natural abilities to natural plants? The answer to the question is, natural plants need to be shaped to look better. Similarly, natural abilities need to be shaped by proper studies to be useful in real life. Therefore, Bacon compares natural abilities to natural plants. The fifteenth question is, what, sorry, fifteenth question is, what according to Bacon is superior, studies or experience, and why? The answer of the first part of the question is, according to Bacon, experience is superior to studies. The answer of the second part of the question is, Studies give many alternatives which confuse us. Experience helps us to find out the appropriate alternative or to select the proper alternative. The sixteenth question is, who are crafty men, simple men and wise men? The answer of the question is, Crafty men are witty people, simple men are the illiterate people, wise men are people with practical experience. The seventeenth question is, how do crafty men look upon studies and why? The answer of the first part of the question is, crafty men condemn studies. The answer of the second part of the question is, they do so because they think that cleverness is more effective than bookish knowledge in order to be successful in life. The eighteenth question is, how do simple men look upon studies and why? The answer of the first part of the question is, Simple men admire studies. The answer of the second part of the question is, they do so because they do not have any bookish knowledge. Question number 19 is, how do wise men look upon studies and why? 
the answer of the first part of the question is wise men use studies the answer of the second part of the question is they do so by the application of studies in practical life indeed they make the best use of their studies question number 20 what is wisdom rather what according to bacon is wisdom so the answer of the question is according to bacon wisdom is knowledge derived from life by observing it bacon places wisdom above knowledge that is information gathered from books question number 21 why should we not according to bacon read the answer of the question is according to bacon we should not read to oppose the views of another person or to accept the teachings derived from studies blindly or to use those teachings in conversation but to judge things upon the light of knowledge derived from studies question number 22 what does the phrase some books refer to and what does the expression some books are to be tested mean the answer of the question is the phrase some books refers to those books which demand cursory reading the answer of the second part of the question is the expression some books are to be tested means that some books are to be read only in parts question number 23 what does the word others refer to and what does the expression others to be swallowed mean the answer of the first part of the question is the word others refers to those books which demand a short time and a casual approach for reading the answer of the second part of the question is the expression others to be swallowed means that some books are to be read in attentively we have come to the 24th question of this video presentation this is the penultimate question of this video presentation actually i have selected 52 marks questions from the essay entitled of studies for the benefit of the students i have not dragged the video in terms of time rather i have divided the questions and their answers in two video presentations that is in this video presentation you will find 25 questions and their answers and in the next video presentation you will get question number 26 to question number 50 as well as their answer however the 24th question is what do the words chewed and digested here mean there is another question which books are to be chewed and digested the answer of the first question is the words chewed and digested here mean read word by word and assimilate the contents of the books respectively the answer of the second question under question number 24 is those books which have the power to make life better are to be chewed and digested as mentioned earlier question number 25 is the final question of this video presentation so the question is who is a deputy and how can he help in studies 
The answer of the first part of the question is, a deputy is a person who is appointed to do the work of another person. The answer of the second part of the question is, a deputy can help a reader by reading a book on his or her behalf and thereby saving his or her invaluable time. This is all about this video presentation. At the conclusion of this video presentation, I request you to subscribe my channel to share this video presentation to your friends and to put forward your valuable comments in the comment section of this video presentation. Thank you everyone.